Hey guys, this is going to be another quick video. We're going to learn how to change the names of towers and their description. So you can see right here we've changed the dark monkey to the poop throwing monkey. And his description is, has a bizarre fascination with throwing his own poop at balloons. So when we place him down you can see his uh, name is still changed. So let's figure out how to do that. So I've got JPEGs open. We're going to go into the scripts folder. Then we're going to go into the towers folder. We're going to scroll down until we see Tower Factory and open it up. Then we're going to scroll down until we find the Tower Definition for the Dart Monkey. It's not going to be these. It's going to be down until we see Tower Definition, which is right here. So this is where we want to be. So it's not going to be this. We're not going to be changing this line right here. I don't think that this is like the text name. I believe that this is like the actual in-game, in-the-code name. And I'm honestly not sure what's going to happen if you change this, but I don't think it's anything too good. Um, so I'm going to leave that be for right now. Instead, we're going to change this. So I've clicked on this. This is his uh, actual name. So I'm going to go ahead and edit the P code. And instead of Dart Monkey, we're going to do Hoop Throwing Monkey. And then his description is right here. You can see it says description and then they got the text above there. So I'm going to select that. I'm going to backspace it. So now we've got this line push string with two quotes and I'm going to put has a bizarre fascination with throwing his own poop up at balloons, my bad. So I'm going to save it and I'm going to save one more time and let's test it out. So we're in game and let's hover over the dart monkey and look at that his name and his description have changed and when we pull him down here and place him down you can see that his name is still different. I've even gone back to the main menu and if we click on this fountain right here for towers it's going to show us all the towers. And we can see that even in here his name has changed and if we hover over we see his description has as well. Well that's the video you guys I really hope you enjoyed it. It was a simple one but you know it could be useful for a mod you guys are working on someday. If you have any questions, put them in the comments below or join the Discord server that's in the description. There's a bunch of knowledgeable people there who are more than happy to help you guys out. Also, if you watch this video and you're not really sure how I did this or, you know, what kind of tools I was using, watch the first video in this tutorial series. It's going to teach you how to set everything up so you can mod the game. Anyways, that's it guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.